Uh, they all run off already. Yeah. I don't know. What are they doing? Where are they all gone? They've all got their phones turned off. Uh, no. no? <laughs> what do you mean, no, you can't hear me? I know. Oh, I can hear me. I hear nothing. <laughs> uh. I don't know. Oh, Where are they doing? I. Where are they all gone? Oh, that's working. Okay. Yeah, we got feedback here. What, what are you doing, B buddy? Turn. Oh, now hey. you can hear me. Ah, oh, there we go. You can hear me now. I was going to say I had to turn my phone up really loud. <laughs> <laughs> I made myself deaf. So, hello, this is Mon PJC and. Hello, Phoenix. And Halo Phoenix hello. is joining me here. Hopefully, you can hear her okay. Um, we haven't got our headphones on tonight. No. So, we might get a little bit of feedback from the game because we've got this. I'll actually go in and. Uh, you can always put your headphones on. Um, do you know what? I just realised I could actually do. I'm just being a complete dork here, so I could actually just turn the sound coming out my mic out the computer off, and then cool. everyone else can hear. Hey, hey Randy Cat, my number one sub. Oh yeah. My number hey, one sub. sub. Thanks for the subscription, <laughs> there, Randy Cat. We're gonna have to like build a monument for you of them or something. Yeah, it's like, do you do like a billboard? Do you know you were talking about billboards the other day? Billboard. Oh, she was showing the billboards. Yeah. Do you right. Really cat okay. One for all your people who follow. Uh, you. that would okay. Be cool. Should we have a live screen? There we go. That's a bit better. Right. So, um, which one was I in? I was in here, wasn't I? Because we we're doing some tests with Blender. I think I spelt that completely wrong. It's fine. <laughs> oh, there we Yay. go. Oh, spoiler. Can't show that oh. thing. Oh, everyone's going to be replaying that in a video somewhere. Oh, no. um, yeah, so you are my uh, artist, aren't you? I really, try. I guess. <laughs> well, you do a bit of artwork and stuff. And um, Mon PJC, you get a present soon. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Um, so over here, you can see we've actually taken the icons that you would normally have or that we've put we're going to be putting in twitch and on discord uh for our people i've lost my one because i, I know, like that, i, I that broke it really good yeah my one, one looked really good and i broke it and i can't ex import it again oh. but yeah we can put them on there as as maps and this is something that you did for game heroes oh yep so again that's that's six different maps spread over and then there's there's a handsome chap own selfie. Yeah, that's one you <laughs> that's did. Oh, oh, I, oh I, apparently you know you know oh, something know. already. Oh, I okay. Know. Oh, all right. Okay. We, we've got a little thing. We know. Got, oh, we know. okay. <laughs> People are conspiring against me already. Nice. Yeah. That's so <laughs> that's that's my little posters. So we're going to use this in Steamcraft later on, so we can bring things in. So we could we could have a uh, sponsored by Rady Cat poster. Yeah, so we could come up with something. So, for every person who subs, they could have their own like, billboard. <gasps> yeah, we could have like a... They, they could supply their own image. Yeah. That I could put up on like a massive billboard. Or they could be put that would be cool. around the map and then as like, sponsors. When you get all your millions and millions of subscribers. Yeah, and people... Like a billboard. Yeah, like and what I'm planning to do is make it so that people can download the map at, at times oh. as well. So they can go in and go around the world. Mm. Uh, apparently you're not allowed to say anything to me. <gasps> no, nope. I haven't. Is that, for, I promise. is that for this stream or I, is no, it no. just for what you two general, are conspiring I'm about? Just not saying anything. Right. My okay. Lips are sealed. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So let's come out of there. And so what I'm up to tonight is I've got some um, what you call it ideas for how we're going to make the Steamcraft world look. Okay. So I'm going to go in here because this is my architecture world or one of my new ones that I've done. So this has got all the buildings that are the sort of the general theme that I use in Minecraft. Uh, and these are all the base buildings. As you can see, they've got this, like everything is cobblestone. Oh, I like your fire. What, this thing? Yeah. That's a campfire. That's the that's, new thing. That's cool. Yeah. So we've got this stuff. This is what the game supplies you with in the way of buildings. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, they're a bit boring because everything's cobblestone. Um, 
I, I like the bee jokes in chat already. That would be so cool. So this side, you can see I've swapped out the cobblestone and I've put like a bit of a cobblestone road. We've got brickwork, we've got lighter color woods and things. And we've got lamps out the front rather than just plain torches. So, you know, you can see from the sides of those two, a bit makes it just look a little bit nicer. Mm. I think I also used darker wood up there as well, because you can see the ends of these are quite light. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this spruce wood's a lot darker. So that's the sort of thing I wanted to sort of play around with, how stuff looks. Oh, is that a prison? This is not a prison. <laughs> so loads of people on the internet. We, we were all hoping we were going to get a mine update, oh, cave update. That would be cool. And then there was that fantastic moment on Minecon where they go, um, I know, let's have a never update. And everyone went, no. oh, really? Is that it? Is that all we're getting? Um, so do you like my new skin? Have you dripped honey down you? Yeah, so it's my honey skin. So yeah, so my front of my skin has now got honey on it. You're I've got a little, honey bee. I'm a honey bee. Oh, thanks, honey. Honey bee. Oh dear. Oh dear. And I've got like honey splashed down my trousers as well. Oh, look, it, it can't really. Ah. Oh, oh, the village is like, I like your new suit. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was taking out your new, your new coffee. <coughs> it completely freaked me out. I'm going to probably be coughing my lungs up the whole way through this. It's tonight. all right. I made your coffee. You're fine. <laughs> right. So everyone's been making cave updates. And this was my attempt a while ago oh. um, where I thought a cave should look a bit more like bumpy and a bit more sporadic. And if you get coal, you don't just get it in one place. You get like loads of it that you can yeah. dig out. So stuff like this, and there's like used quite light stone colours. For a, do you um, know what I mean? You know, you know, like um, that, what you've just shown us with the green. That is true. However, I would probably normally have down on like I don't know if Moody comes back and shows it a bit better, a bit oh, like yeah. that. Okay. See, yeah, yeah. you can change the lighting in the game. And if you use something like Optifine, you need to sort of uh, have something a little bit more different. And I even did things like round here, where we've got this mossy stone. If I stand there long enough, <coughs> there we go. We actually get like little drips of water coming through the ceiling as well. And there's little bits of hidden gold and things. So it was like a general idea. I, I like this as well. Look, the pickaxe oh. in the wall. Oh, half it in the wall. Yeah. You did that with your armor, Ray. Right? You know, you did your armor stand. Yep. So that's actually an armor stand mod. Uh. Um, that's from the Vanilla Bee. Twigs. Bee buzzes. Bee buzzes. You see that on the screen? Yes. <laughs> that's because we've got... Bee. They're, they're <laughs> bee. Oh, chat. Bee. It's because there are bees around here. I was like mm -hmm. trying them out. Look, here we go. Dead bees. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful bees. <laughs> Look, they're all here with their oh, sunflowers. Hello. Oh, I reckon the joint. Oh, no, they're so cute. Have you seen baby bees? No. Oh, this is your first intro to bees, yeah. isn't it? I've obviously seen them online when people post pictures, yeah. but... Um, have I got any... Oh, have I got flowers oh, on me? Bee. Bees. Bee. Bees. Bees, 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 bees. Oh, right, poppies. Um, oh, they're so cute. Oh, look, there's two. Right, now, oh, look. look, look, they're going to... Watch what they're doing, look, see? They're now following me because I'm holding a flower. Yeah. You should get some really cool screenshots from them. Cool. Um, look, oh no, I broke that one. <gasps> I want more poppies. I know. That'll do. 64 will do. Right. Oh, oh. hello. Hey. So, where's your buddy? Where's your bee, bee buddy? buddy? Come on, where's your bee buddy? Where's gone? I don't know. They go, they go in the hives. Oh, I see. Right, so if I unselect that for now, it'll wander about. Yeah, if they sting, they die. I oh, know. Yeah, so they, they lose their little stinger on their bottom. Oh, little so bottom stinger. Bottom stinger. <laughs> yeah, he's back. Look. Right, let's hold this up. Oh, look, there's a whole family. Oh, look, there's the baby bee. <laughs> oh, the baby bee. Right, so you go click and click. Oh. And the little bees have a little bit of a nudge and a baby oh, bee pops out. Little baby bee. We just liked... Just like to say for the record, 
this is not a true exact way of which bees reproduce <laughs> in the wild and anyone watching should not try this only thank you very much <laughs> only in minecraft i yes. love this loot so the little baby bees now hover around the plant collecting nectar what are you doing you're wiggling your finger oh screenshot oh too late Oh. Um, yeah, so they collect the honey and then they go in the nests. And as you can see, they're filled up with honey. Lovely. Um, and if you put a campfire under them, then you can get stuff out of them. Oh, oh hello, little piggy. Pig. <laughs> little pig. Oh, look at the little bee. Oh, that's cute. Oh, they've got massive eyes. They have. So. Baby bee. Baby bee. <laughs> BBB, baby bee, baby, I can't say that. <laughs> baby buddy bee. Baby buddy bee. Or B, baby bee buddy. Baby bee buddy. Baby bee baby buddy. buddy bee. Oh my god. How quickly can you say it? Baby buddy bee. <coughs> Don't die. <laughs> I won't die with my cough. My mouth's already drying up. I'm going to have to like have a drink. Have a sip of your cough. Right, so. Um, only 18 minutes into the stream and I haven't even started what I was going to do oh, no. right so I, I want to come up with some ideas of builds has a drip has, has, a, has some coffee has some what? has coffee nice. um, hey, bee. bees um, I want to come up with some there's a villager over there in the background as well wandering around oh, yeah. um, I want to come up with some ideas of Ugh. what we can make the buildings oh. look like in our steampunk world. Uh, bees should, are very distracting. Bees, they are. They're so cute though, look at their little faces. They are cute. <laughs> it's like the best thing ever. It's, they like, they're gone. Yeah, they like disappearing Aww. these. So these can be found in the wild, um, on, on trees. Okay. And then from them you get um, oh, I haven't got it in here. It's in here. No, we don't get stung. Uh, you get honeycomb. honeycomb. You can, if you use shears on them, you can cut out honeycomb. Do you like honeycomb? I've never eaten honeycomb. Really not? Oh my god! No. Is anyone out, is anyone out there eating honeycomb? Um, I do like honey. We buy honey well, we regularly. Have, yeah, don't? we have honey and hot lemon. Honey and hot lemon. Yeah. Oh, it's the best, says Rady Cat. Rady Cat. Um, so, yeah, you if you use bottles on a hive, then you get a bottle of honey. Okay. Now, if you take your honey cone and use it with wood, you can create your own beehive, which is oh, like okay. a traditional one. Mm. Like that. But, yeah. And the cool thing is, is when they fly over flowers or crops, they pollinate them. And it makes the plants grow quicker. That's clever. I feel like I want to go into Minecraft and just get a load of bees. <laughs> yeah, you see, that that's it. That's why I've got, got like... They're like really therapeutic just to watch. Yeah, they're like, it's like watching fish, isn't it? Yeah. It's like pottering about. It's really nice because it's the first mod oh, that, no. mob that really does something. Honey is good, but honeycomb, I don't know. Oh, you've not had honeycomb? No. No, I've, I've, I feel like I've only had the same. Yeah, I don't know where you get it from. I had it years ago. You can mm. buy it in like a little pack. Really? And then I can get the nougat stuff and those sort of... Oh. Like peanut brittle, but not like... Oh, I didn't peanuts. know. I didn't know that. Right, I'm going to get rid of that because we're going to end up with loads of pigs over here flying around. Um, we've already got one pig over here as it is. It is. But yes, so bees are going to be part of the steam craft thing now. Going to have to have bee posters. Okay. Maybe it's going to be like a main food source or something, honey and honeycone and something like that. Um, oh, here you can't. you can't buy it. Wow. Oh. Well, bees are like endangered here as well, aren't they, in this country? Yeah. They're like loads of work, like trying to grow um, <laughs> stuff, pigs flying, yeah. Pigs That'd be flying. funny, you make a little data pack where a bee looks like a pig. Yeah. And it's <gasps> flying around. I can do that through my... Um Photoshop gimp thing. Yeah, well, we could actually even just like modify the date. Yeah. Why is he following me? Watch it, watch it. Don't sting me. But yeah, they get angry. 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 So, something I do when I'm building, going on to what I want to do, <laughs> is I create a palette of stuff, of materials. Like an artist. Like an artist. 
so I can come out here and choose what I want to use. Um, she says, oh my god, amazing. <laughs> um, I don't know which bit she's saying. Pigs flying around. Yeah, we could do that. That'd, That'd be, cool. be funny. We need to do that 3D stuff on Blender. And then yeah, can... we need to do loads of Blender stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, if we start doing videos on that. Oh, uh, that'd be so cool. It's a good job I've lost my job, isn't it? We could do... Well, not really. <laughs> um, but what you could do is do like little videos of... <coughs> yeah. You're all right there. I'm surviving. Yeah, Mon PJC has lost his job again, hasn't he? Well, not again. Well, they ended my contract. Yeah. Contract ended. Well, they didn't end my contract. My contract came finished. to an end. It was due to finish on the 4th yeah. and they decided not to extend it. Yeah. Because I reckon it's, as as per normal, I'm too good. I think it is. I think you're probably doing loads more than anyone else and they were like me. Well, at least I was putting the clothes back out on the shelves. True. And they've got people there employed that don't do that. Exactly. Right, so I've cleared my inventory. Anywho. Anyway. <laughs> I know, I really kept it. Yes. That's okay because you can sad. spend a lot more time with Mon PJC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, should I tell them? Go for it. Um, how many streams? Oh, at, <laughs> I, I can fly <laughs> like a, a little bee. You need to have your hand up. Like, doo -doo -doo. Um, so, guys, how many streams would you like between now and the end of the month? Ten a day. What? Ten a, ten a day? <laughs> can't do 10 streams a day oh no come on how many how many streams yeah too good for the job we doink um so how many streams what do you reckon uh, well i mean how many weeks have we got left three weeks four weeks till what the end of the month one two three four weeks yeah four streams one a week more one a week do you want more every day every day yeah well, don't you have to do one every day to get something? Oh, uh, like three or four a week. Three or four a week. I'd tell you what. Should we, should we go for it? Should well, we go for it? There's seven days in a week, isn't there? Me and the, not the pig. pig. Me and the pig are going to go and try pig for. Pig. No. <laughs> Why is the pig looking at. Pig. pig. <laughs> the pig's, the pig's taking over. Let's pig. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no. I'm going to need a coffee and fits. Oh no, would you like a sweet tea? <coughs> no. Okay. So, I'm going to stream every day. If you don't lose your voice in the meantime. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of the month, there'll be a progression of videos that are uploaded on YouTube of me being able to talk by the end of them. And then we'll do like, outtake. I'll do a little video, outtake TV. Outtake TVs, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, building wise. So what are we doing? What we do it right. Well, so we want some materials, basically, to start with. <coughs> Someone's excited. I don't know what time of day I'm going to do these. I'm definitely going to be doing some during the day, but I don't. Hour stream. I can't do twenty-four hour, twenty-four hour streams for the next twenty-eight days or yeah. whatever. That'd be nuts. Fine. I can't do that. Order Domino's, fine. Domino, Domino's, yeah, thanks. Um, right. <laughs> So I want to pick some materials out that we would use for building our houses and stuff. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's obviously always stone around. I mean, there's cobblestone and andesite and polished andesite always, I think, looks quite nice as well. Normal stone you wouldn't normally have. Um, maybe a little bit of gravel. And Right, so I'm just going to plonk these down for a start. And we're going to like work out what we're going to build our houses from. Because these guys have already seen what my house looks like in uh, the game already. In Steamcraft. So if I look at wood, we currently have access to all the woods. So we've got... Um, we've got oak, we've got spruce, we've got birch. But birch is quite a light colour, I don't really like it that much. Jungle planks can get to acacia wood we're going to be using as well. I haven't got any dark oak at the moment. <coughs> oh, I'm really sorry, people. I'm coughing. <coughs> I disappeared when I coughed. <laughs> I stopped on what deafening people. Oh, no. 
Um, you've only been back, and you've oh, you've hurt your back. Oh. Yeah, I, I did say in uh, Discord. What have you done to your back? Oh, do you do like lifting stuff? Hmm. I don't know. So I've got some different words, and we'll just add to this as we go along as we use stuff. <coughs> oh dear. You might end up having to do the talking. Oh no. <laughs> or you can just tinker about with what you're doing and we can just improvise. Right, so what I'm thinking of, oh, I want some light materials. So, dorite, most people hate dorite. Yeah, I don't know. Um, what have we got? Stripped birch. What other light colored blocks we got, guys? Um, Sandstone. Really cuts in sandstone. Sandstone, sandstone. Cut sandstone or normal sandstone? Um, sandstone, yeah, that's a good colour. Um, let's have a look. Walls are going to be a bit funny to use, aren't they? We've got all the slabs. I'll come and get those if I need them. Let's just get an idea of the colours. Um, we're always going to end up with stone bricks, aren't we, at some point or another? I think I said that already. Endstone is a nightmare to mine. There is the terracottas. They've got like a very clean colour to them. Uh, quartz, but yeah, but quartz is like really heavy to go and get. Every time I lift something too heavy. Oh, no. No, no. Should you really be lifting heavy stuff? I guess no. that's the question. No, no, no. You shouldn't be lifting heavy things. So do you, there's the whole thing of, there's a process, isn't there, of lifting... Yeah, this this concrete. Certain, yeah, light concrete, light grey concrete. I'm going with some light colours. I think she's suggesting concrete. Oh, that's not. I don't think you've been lifting concrete, have you? I thought you'd been lifting concrete. I'm like, oh my god. Don't think so. <laughs> um, actually, this was something I saw in a stream that I thought was really cool, and I hadn't thought of. And I'll show you in a sec. Let me just chuck these down. Because I think when they're in the world, they're just a little bit easier to see and you get a bit of an idea of what they look like. And it also means I can just fly over here and grab it. Oh, that's the wrong button. So where was it? It was down here. So there's this dead tube coral block. I've never thought of using coral blocks. Really? Because they're like got different textures on them. I mean, they're the coloured ones. <coughs> oh dear. It's great being ill, isn't it? Yeah. There's so many people here at the moment. What do you think of them? That would be really cool if you have like a bird's eye view. Take a photo of it. But they are, you could mistake that for a type of stone texture. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And you wouldn't really know what it actually is. And it does actually match in with some of the other colours. Yeah, I think the textures on them are really cool, mm. the way they actually go together. Um, I always hit escape button for some reason. <coughs> That's better. I feel like I'm actually clearing my throat now. Hey. Um, decoration. We'll work out some decor. There's a bit of mushroom in there, but mushrooms like brown and stuff. Glass we can always get. I think they're the main colours I was thinking of for now. Coral blocks are hard to get, are they? I didn't think they were. I didn't think they'd be that difficult to get. <laughs> I've not really done them. No. But it could be something that we just like figure out what we're going to do. Didn't you do like the boat? Oh, the airship. Do you remember that? These guys haven't seen the airship. Oh my God. They're on my videos. Yeah, you need to check it out. Right, so. They are really cool. I love your like glass bottom of the boat. That was cool. Yeah, oh, the, the one that was underwater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <coughs> yeah, 
So I'm going to apologise for coughing, everyone, because it's just going to keep happening, unfortunately. Um, right. I made you stream, sorry. Um, well, I think these guys were up for a stream anyway. So let's get a bit of a building down. And a lot of the time, what I'm thinking of is because uh, sometimes I find it really difficult to explain what I'm after until I've actually built it, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to put a wall in the wall here in the world and just like start with a, a shape of what I actually want. Now, what I'm actually wondering is I wonder if I actually put in uh bling edit on here I can't remember because that'll actually make my editing a lot easier and ooh, is anyone aware of bling edit have they come across that I'll actually have to put it in the game if I haven't got it oh where'd that go let's see if I'm actually typing in the box didn't it No, I didn't put it in the world. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Uh -oh. I, won't, I won't worry about that then. It's just free. Yeah, don't need them. <laughs> right. So, because Bling Edit just means you can like copy and paste stuff. I'm a modded noob. Oh, okay. So Bling Edit is, it's a little bit crafty actually, because it's actually a data pack rather than being a mod. So if I just explain what that actually means. So a mod or modded Minecraft is where they've taken the original program and you can download, they've basically taken it apart and put changes into the program and then made it so that other people can use it. Okay. And they've put mods into the game or modifications basically, which is like what a lot of people are sort of fairly used to the idea of. Of actually having so but you then don't have the like the vanilla game as people might describe it it is you know this is not this game then okay. and other people have got to download it and do things with it but what you have instead are data packs and what you can do with a data pack is you can still use it in the game as if you were playing Minecraft. All right, okay. So it's no real different. It's just an add-on to the game you're actually playing, which is like how our uh, graves work and stuff like that when people die. Like me all the time. <laughs> yeah, like when you die all the time. So one of the things I'm thinking of... So that's how data packs work. And resource packs are similar as well. They right. like change the textures and stuff like that. Um, I do like playing modded Minecraft, but it's very absorbing and can get quite technical. Mm -hmm. So I don't worry too much. So that's like the standard layout of what we'd normally got on a house. But you can see how they're like, there's a top and a bottom half. So, I mean, andesite's quite nice as a material, as a bit different, lighter. But I'm actually thinking of going for something like stripped birch on the top half of the builds okay. of our houses that we make. And the bottom half, I was actually thinking, was actually making it smaller than the top half. So if I actually go with something like a, a cobble wall, uh, with the cobble walls. Yeah, she sort of had a little cool. bit of texture on the sides. Yeah. Just oh, changes yeah. it a little bit. Actually, I've just noticed I've, I've put them in a different way around, and the, so the pattern runs that way. And the idea is that we'll have this little bit of overlap. I've got a bit better idea in my mind. I'm sort of like putting some ideas together. I want a bee suit for my dog, but I don't know who, how I think about a <laughs> bee suit for your dog. Bee suit. That would be funny, wouldn't bee it? Dog. 
Bee dog. Bee dog. Um, and then what you can do with this is, I think if andesite is like a more nicer colour, let's put a door in here as well. Oh, the corner one's in the wrong direction. Ah, good spot. Ah, good spot. Um, and then just knock these out, and then we'll just like have the odd bit of cobble in. Just like break the texture up a little bit like that. And then these one, I don't know how these go with it. Let's have a look. It's quite a bit darker, yeah. isn't it? It's a shame, really. If it was that little bit of lighter grey, it would probably go, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, I think it's a bit dark. Does it go with... Oh, does it go more with that? Mm. No, not really. You're not feeling it, are you? No. I don't know why okay. everyone else feels. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll leave them like that. Have missed. Um, I don't know if it is one of the blocks, but um, the one where it's got the vines on it. The vines on it. Yeah. The vines on it. It's like green vines on them. Oh, the green. Oh, the moss stone. Yeah. Because I always think that looks quite cool. Because you got mossy cobble stone. Yeah. Because I always think like and with the wood or the oak, it really brings it out. Mossy stone brick, yeah. and then like a mossy cobble wall. Mm -hmm. um, let's chuck some of these down over here. You're going for like an oldie. Vintage. Because what you could have is like a corner yeah. here has like got wet and yeah. it's like deteriorating a bit and it's sort of like got a bit of a, a mossy feel to it. I do like the other, that one. You like that other one? Yeah. I'm just thinking where we want a bit of structure. structure yeah in the build we want to bring in some stuff like that mm -hmm. i need something to separate the colors i'm actually thinking of like the the spruce is this spruce yeah this is yeah. spruce but it's got quite a light color i used dark oak over there um where's the you don't like the uh you don't like the ch oh, coral blocks no. no they're not really worked have they see dark oak has got a really nice yeah, end colour to it. I must it. agree with you, Lady really Cat. I prefer the mossy cobbles to the mossy brick. See, I think that looks a much deeper colour. Mm. And even the woods, but the, the wood is a, a more brown, whereas that's more like a chocolate, isn't it? Mm. <gasps> chocolate. Now, the only thing is I could do is... Yep. Yeah. How did you know that's what I was going to do? Because I know. Oh, you know. I've seen it before. What do you reckon? One looks better. Warning for brickstone. See, that's too similar. I think that's the one. I think the dark oh, oak. I didn't know that. Warning for brickstone. Silverfish are going to be. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they can infest this, the uh, the bricks. I would never have thought that. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So what do you think about this then? If we um, have to go and get some dark oak. I'm thinking of the colour of it against this light colour. Yeah. In here. It's like it's a bit weathered. Yeah. So if we stuck some glass in there. What sort of colour glass window would you have? Like a... This is a steampunk world, so it's going to be like a a light grey, isn't it? It's not going to be white. Yeah, the windows are not going to be clean, are they? No. So you're going to have like a, a dark grey window. True. And their doors, I mean, we could we we could either have acacia or could you see these doors look quite good? They they've got a medieval feel to them. Yeah. But these, I think they always look like like copper or iron. Yeah, I was going to say, they're a bit painted orange. They're a really red colour. And I think that's got like... Um, if you strip spruce, it's a little bit green. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I quite like that. And also, 
they have this really cool trap door that goes in here as well. See? Oh, good. Cool. And I think that looks really good because you can even have it as like manhole covers. Oh, yeah. It looks really good as like a, a decoration in the road. Really cool. You know um, when you go to places like London? Yeah. And they have like the lower, the basement level, but you can literally walk down it. Yeah, oh, where well you've got cool. like the steps. Yeah, like you have steps, but then you can, there's like a gap. Like that. Does that work as a road texture? Yeah. I think so. That's pretty cool. It's very consistent. Something I'm not a little bit smart. Yep. But that's the thing with steampunk, because of like how they build things it's all mashed up because it's what they can find yeah that's it it's like that's a variation in yeah. textures actually i think those two work better together because look you're missing one because yeah. that one is different to that yeah. and it's very yeah, yeah. subtle very subtle but there's just enough difference is it that one and that one no, they're the same, aren't they? That one. They're that um, similar, I can't even tell the difference. One. And the front door. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Not the door. <laughs> Not the door. Can I have the door back, please? The little door. <laughs> there you go. Yeah? Yeah, that's cool. That actually works as like a bit of a road texture, doesn't it? It's yeah. actually got enough variation in it that it actually breaks up a bit. I don't think that one would go with any of them. Mm. Let's just pop it in the corner here and see. It's too... I don't know, it might do actually. It doesn't have as much texture to it. No, but when you're walking along, yeah. you think you're walking along, it's just that little bit, it's not until you're close to it you really notice it. Yeah. Well, it actually works. I think that one is the only one that doesn't really work. I think even this one might even work in there as well. Could you have, um, you know that? The, this? Yeah, you can have those outside the side by side a little. Ah, yeah, like that. Oh, not, not, like, not like that, yeah. but like that. Yeah, and then we could actually, because um, we got the whole uh, lamp thing going on now. You can put the lamps in front. On the top. Yep. Wow, awesome. Yeah, I don't cool. think that looks quite right there on the front. It's too close to the door, needs like a yeah. gap between it. But it's sort of got a bit of an idea to it. Screenshot. Um, I'm not really finished yet. Oh. You want screenshots? We've got to do Pracer. Pracer screenshot. <coughs> now, do we have, like, downward bits? Mm. Um, so, like, breaking the, the panels up. As if it's like, um, what would you call them? Like beams. like those beams. You see, yes. these beams are all really flat. I think the coral block looks too dark. I'm just thinking it's a, a steampunky world, like very dead. Mm. I mean, I'm not saying it's it's a definite, but I think we'll give it a, at least give it a go for the minute. So something I'd, I'd come up with as an idea. So you think of this. Um, doesn't help. I've got a window in here. I liked your hanging lantern idea. Oh, right. I'm going to pop the window up there for now. Pop that on the bottom of there. And this will make sense in a minute. If I do that, because what I want to do is add a little bit of depth. So can you have it like in a little cove? That's it, like... I was actually thinking, so you've yeah. got stuff like that, so it gives, but it looks quite harsh. But if you... Could you put the hanging lanterns inside? You could put the hanging lanterns in there. What I was thinking, you've got birch fences, or what have we used? We've used dark oak, haven't we? Yeah. So you could do something like that. I think it gets slightly lost, doesn't it? Or that. Yeah. I mean, obviously mm. I'd have these much wider. We'll make a really big house in a minute. Yeah. Um, not the one on the ground, just the one that you don't use. Oh yeah, that other one, that really big blocky one, I don't like. Yeah. 
you prefer the dark yeah that that looks better i think that might look good as like a panel yeah in the build and i still don't know whether i'm going to keep these like this or use um oak and not like a normal traditional oak roof because this is something else i've seen as well which we haven't tried yet as well um where's the oak steps just to give people an idea so you've got the i'm going to put this on the top is that dark oak yeah that's dark oak but you can have it so it's got a normal end on it like that doesn't go it's weird how that doesn't go is that spruce no it's dark oak and that's dark oak but they're two different colors look at that so that's a dark oak fence and that's a dark oak wood but when you just strip that but they're two different colors no this oh. block has got no you can't see the grain on the end okay but i actually think it looked um better like I don't know if that looks better on the end it's quite dark isn't it I mean, it's probably not too bad because the other option is what most people do is they go with the, the whole like stair approach for for wall roofs yeah I tend to do now you do them like that they're fine but then what a lot of people do as well is you come in here and you just like pop them on the inside as well so you get a much nicer smoother edge uh, yeah. so that makes that not too bad I don't know with the roof sides not the bark yeah I didn't like the bark edge but that's not too bad like that yeah. and then what we could do because this is dark oak um, oh no I'm typing in the wrong place Spruce is a lighter colour. Oak is too light. So you've got this one. Because what I was thinking of is you have like a dark edge around the roof uh, and yeah. then have a lighter colour in it yeah. to break it up. And then maybe have something like a solid block of like that along the top. Mm -hmm. So that's one idea of a bit of a roof. And that could be the idea on the other side like that. What I'll do is I'll make a big house that's like 15 by 15 and put some bits on it and try it out and stuff. So you're going to put these in your steam craft world? Yeah, so I'm thinking of like having a city okay. that's got a bit more of a, a steam craft type feel. So what we'll have is, um, if, if you can remember, can you remember what my world looks like or should I pop into it and show you? I'll pop into it and show you. Has everyone seen your world? I think everyone's been there and had a look. So if we go over here and have a look. Hello guys. The villagers are here. See, he looks like a beekeeper. He does. I think he would look perfect. I think uh, farmers look good as a beekeeper. Um, <coughs> let's pop up the top give you an idea of what the world layout is like and then you get an idea of what I'm trying to what I'm seeing in my head that's my problem a lot of the time is I see stuff in my head but I find it really hard to explain it to somebody else yeah. <coughs> we're both really suffering with coughs aren't we yeah. that's not great Mine's yeah. not too bad. My cough. Uh, no, I'm alright at the moment. So you see this house has got a... Bee! Yeah, bees. <laughs> we have bees here. Oh, this bee does not have a name. I know. We've got loads of names for the bees. That bee has no name. So this has got this arched roof shape, which okay. I quite like, which I want to use quite a bit. Oh, oh, the cough's not annoying, that's, oh, that's alright. Right. <laughs> We're not as bad as we could have been. I mean, we could have been coughing so much we couldn't talk at all. Um, 
So the sides of the room. Oh, that was the other day. <laughs> yeah, the other day we couldn't talk at all. No. There was no hope. So you see, I've even got the roof so it like dips, oh, like yeah. it's like the roof would have been made straight, but under its weight, it's dipped a bit. Okay. Uh, it's not looking great in here because this still needs quite a bit of work. But you see how I've got the dark and the light. But this is spruce and oak, mm -hmm. whereas the other woods I think are, are much darker. Um, but generally, what I'm thinking of in this area, I've realised I've come in on my normal player. I don't remember there being a hole there um so what we have is over here we have this massive ice and sand area and you can see all the ice spikes over there mm -hmm. and then you come into this heavy woodland area here and we've got this massive ocean and all these things that i've brought into the world which are obviously in the way and then it goes off into a plains area okay so what I'm thinking is, is our steampunk people, because there are boats around that are like shipwrecks, so we're bringing in the first settlers, and this is like my first house, and you see how I like put this wall up. So what I'm thinking is, this would be like a massive port. Yep. So around here, what we could do is we could brick this up and reinforce the walls so ships can sail in. Okay. And I'm thinking of doing effectively uh, four types of steampunk so there will be this normal land based steampunk where they've got walls and they've got big buildings and rather than it being spilt out yeah build up a harbour wall around it so it's like nice and big and reinforced and the bit rather than like normal cities cities are spread out this city will be built on top of each other. Steampunk mm -hmm. tends to build stuff yeah. on top of other things. So we'll start with a dock area, then we'll have houses, then we'll have a marketplace, and then on top of the marketplace and the houses is where you build like the the library and the offices and the state rooms and all that. And everything goes upwards mm -hmm. into the sky rather than spreading out. So what was that steampunk um, film we watched? I can't remember. remember. I know. It's, I, I, I can remember watching Same. it because they had machines that yeah. travelled around and ate other machines. So what made me think was, um, you know your brick wall you've got over there? Yeah. They make like tiny little hobbit houses as well. Steampunk hobbit houses. Yeah, exactly. So it's like just little tiny little, little, little like, hobbit yeah, houses on there. How the, did you get there? Yeah, little houses all on their own. That would be cool. So that's the land. Okay. And then all steampunk, if you think about it, steampunk only works. There's a bee. There's a bee. It's a bee There's trapped a in a boat. Um, I'll go and save him Come in a minute. On. Oh, it's going to get dark. I've got to Craig, go and save him. Quick, quick. That silly bee. What's he doing in it's there? It's a bee boat. Um, so, oh, no. all steampunk basically is the idea is there's no electricity, which we know that's the case anyway. Well, save you, bee. <laughs> we take a photo of it in the boat. Oh, I suppose it's got to be done, isn't it? It's a bee boat. Oh, I'm bobbing yeah. up and down, so that's not going to help. He's like, help. I've had enough. I'm out of here. <laughs> right, let's uh, Making the wreck great the escape. boat. Oh, no. Oh, it's no. Ah. 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 I'm staying under here. That was not good. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to drown. Oh, no. Quick, run. Run. Oh, my God. This has turned into an uh -oh. episode already. Uh-oh. The bee is coming off you. Oh no, and they're all going to go after me, and if they bite me, they, they die. I know. I don't know if you can outrun them and they Why then get tamed. The I was hitting the boat. Oh, that's a lovely picture there. Oh, that's a lovely picture. He's over there. Don't let him sting you. That's a cool picture. That you've got cool. the light from the. That's cool. That is a cool Should picture. Have been a don't let him sting. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh no. All right, okay. Right, I'm going to stay over here now then. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my oh no, this doing? Oh no, this has turned into a whole thing now, hasn't it? Right, okay. Come on, rampage. Uh, I'm going to be like GTA killed stuff. by loads of stuff now. Um, can I just like stop the game and come out? Um, Chicken. Me, I don't want to play. I'm going to end up dying. Hey. I've got to make a run for the house. Oh. Zombie. 
We've got to run for the house and avoid the bee. And make sure none of the other bees get angry. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe this. Can't believe it. <laughs> Can't believe <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, oh, my yeah. first angie bee. Well, he's not around here. Right, let's get in here. Be like the door. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, be in the house. No. Let's see, open the door. Ah, B. My dog looked at me and I was like, why are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we had that, didn't we? Um, what was it? Eli, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Think I'm okay. I think they're forgotten. Did you think? I seem Well, I'll okay. find out if I'm standing here and get bitten by a bee in a minute, won't I? I seem okay. Right, okay. So, why are you climbing on the roof? <coughs> what with that? The bee. It was the bee. Huh? No, it's not a bee. It's a, it's a skeleton with a bow and arrow. Huh? Oh my god, how pimped out was he? I like his pink heart. I know. That was pretty cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I get wrecked in the game and I'm even not supposed to be doing this. Oh, so much for like running commentary. I'm trying to show people what I'm doing. But it's it is funny, yeah. Especially with me playing, because I'm such a derp. Um, right. Derp. I think she died in the water. Oh. Uh, don't know. Oh, look. There's the bee. Ah! Oh, what the? Blown up oh, oh, my God. Where did that come from? Behind you. <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, oh man, no, well, oh, at least he didn't let the animals out. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh, this is, oh my God. No, the bee's down there, look, down there. Where's the bee? Over there, look. No, that's armor. Oh. From the skeleton. Looks like a bee. <laughs> Looks like a bee, no, it's not a bee. <laughs> I thought I'd been stung by a bee then and it had killed me in one go. <laughs> no, it got blown up by a creeper. I got blown up by a creeper, oh my goodness. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Right, I understand. Is, is everyone finished on me now? No. Right, is it safe? No. no probably not. It's Minecraft. I'm going to put my pants back on. Um, my own helmet's a bit naff. Why I don't know where got I got... different coloured boots? <laughs> I don't, because I've only just started playing the game. You look like a toothpaste. <laughs> oh, <laughs> blooming creepers. Have a look. What? <laughs> you look like toothpaste from Calgate. Toothpaste? <laughs> oh, I look like to... Look. Colgate toothpaste? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Right. So, um, oh Steve, I was in the conversation here. Uh, no, it's fine. They're probably all laughing at me anyway. Oh, <laughs> toothpaste. Yeah, my toothpaste outfit. Um, so... Steamcraft have got no electricity. They've got to run power, haven't they, from somewhere, which is going to basically be coal. But the the sea-based um, steampunk can use the kelp, because kelp can be burned. Okay, yeah. So I want, like, floating... A bit, oh, what is it? Bee toothpaste. Oh, God. <laughs> Just created your new branding. Yeah, bee toothpaste. bee toothpaste. Yeah, I'll start selling that on the channel. Um, I won't have to go to work ever again. Okay. So I was thinking a bit like metal submarine type ships or something got a or lot to do. I'm glad you oh, yeah, got yeah, a yeah, job. yeah yeah I know so I'm thinking some sort of weird steampunk sea based type stuff okay and then obviously we've got the air now we've got airships we have we made airships before in my in my previous uh, world so this will be good because this big building will have like docks where the big airships from the air can come up. Mm -hmm. And then the last one will be underground. And they'll have like caves and stuff. Dungeons. Dungeons and caves. And they'll basically uh, like be, everything will be very B, very black and dark because they're like digging coal. They're like the ones that supply coal. Is that your yoga mat? Yeah, this is my yoga mat. Um, just yeah, saying, just you just haven't done your yoga today. I, I know I haven't done my yoga today. Just saying. Right, here we go. Here's, here's my 
Um, there we go. I'm going to hold a cook some cookies in my hand. There we go. You're yoga. on a yoga mat eating cookies. I don't think that really goes. Well, I can't like hold my hands together, can I? Like you're like, pooping it, on your yoga mat. I'm not pooping on my <laughs> yoga mat. I was eating cookies. I'm eating. Was not else I can. <coughs> Calm down, dear. It's only commercial. Do oh <laughs> dear. Well, yeah, actually. Um, the, um, Rady Cat says about um, bamboo. So yeah, bamboo could be done on on land, and oh, then so I can feel it. Yeah, oh. use bamboo. Okay. Underground can use coal, and then the sea-based ones can use um, the kelp. I don't uh, know what we're going to do in the air. I don't know what fuel we could use as an uh, that, that is available in the air. Well, yeah, I know there's wind. Oh, well, there is that big panels of turbines. Yeah, turbines. So much cleverer than me. No, absolutely not. Here I am. In my boat. In my boat. Oh, so you should do an outtake. Oh, that. That I do all my outtakes and stuff. Ever. Right. Okay. So shall I shall I go hammy on building a big thing now? Good for it. Right. Uh, right. Should we just start? What did we do? We started with andesite mainly, didn't we? So how big a house shall we have? Give me a number, an odd number. Nine. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine wide. Yeah, That's that would big. probably do. Actually, let's have a three wide corridor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. And do we want like posts in the corner or should we use these? Yeah, you I like them. these, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do like them. So I'm thinking if we just like knock them out, they'll be like the corners of the building, like that. And then if we do it nine by nine, so it's like a bit squat. Oh, actually, we do fifteen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Because most buildings are going to be big-ish anyway, aren't they? Like if you do like one block and then one of those stone. What you put it in the middle? Yeah. So if you do that and that, and then it does that and it leaves like a little gap. Oh, okay. Actually, that's the only thing it doesn't do, unfortunately, is like fill it in. It oh, okay. it, it does this whole thing, which doesn't make it. Which is really a shame, really, because it'd be really cool if. It's it stuck with one or the other pattern. I'd really like that pattern, not the joining bit. Yeah. Because Can it's... Can you not put a block in between? Take that out, put a block in. Yeah, as soon as you put something on top, it puts that bar on. Yeah. But that one, it leaves flat. Mm. It's like, really? Why did you go and do that, guys? So if we just build a bit of a perimeter here, like so... Uh, let's make this one shorter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm fe following the EFO rule of thumb, which is always building odd numbers. One, Why? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, mainly because when you're building even numbers, when you get to like the tops of the roofs, it's really difficult to line stuff up. You haven't got like an odd number. So you always end up with like two blocks on the top of the roof. Uh, yeah. See, so an odd number, you've always got one that is as opposed very good to advice. two. Uh, Minecraft hates us, that's why. Oh, okay, cat, uh, Rady Cat, got to go and get some food. Oh, yeah. Food's always food. a good idea. I hope it's exciting stuff. <laughs> exciting food. Exciting food. So, um, we haven't really got... The only thing with andesite is... Oh, we have actually got andesite stairs now, haven't we? Yeah, we've got all these other andesite elements that we can get. And we actually got andesite wall as well. I forgot about that. So you could have actually have that. Blends in a bit too much yeah. though, doesn't it? I knew that as soon as I did it. So what I'm thinking is on the fronts of the houses, we'll do something like this where we have like a little step up into it. Actually, what I think I'll do is the same as what I did. Oh, I've just thrown the step away now. That was stupid. This is why I put stuff out, because you can't hold it all in your inventory. 
And you can just turn around and click on them. So something like that, like I did over there. Yeah. How did I do that? Hello, bees. Oh, yeah, I made it wider. Like this one. Okay. I thought this looked quite cool myself. Actually, we could use those. Ah, I know what we could use. We could use those. These trapdoors around the edge. So if we go something like that there, that there. Did I bring them out? I did. I bring, brought them out to there, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And then we could go. Is that too wide? Is that too big? I like a thing. Right. And then we can always like have these on the front like we had over there, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, can't drive. Well, you like the mossy ones, didn't you? Mossy, mossy, mossy. Like that. Uh, lost my torch again. Everyone's probably going, why is he zipping backwards and forwards so quickly? Mm -hmm. Like doing our reds in. And then with this sort of thing, it's always like really cool because you can sort of like put a brick in like that. And it looks like the wall's got like a, a broken bit. Okay. Uh, and you can do things like that as well. Do like little holes in the wall. Yeah. That would like glass as well. That's true. So if I go one above there, because I like having a bit above the doorway. Yeah. Um, in actual fact, what I'll probably do with the door, which is what I typically do, is I put the door in the Inside, back there, yeah. and then you get that effect. That's true. And then you can knock that out and put that there, and then you get like that more of an archway. Yeah, it gives you more visibility of the door. The pig's watching you, like, look. Hello, piggy. Oh, it's hidden. Right. Um, so that's not too bad there. And then what I wanted to do was have the next layer. Now, one idea I did have is acacia wood. Okay. Um, where is the acacia wood? Is it the acacia? Yeah, because acacia wood has got, is what we're looking at, which has got the red inside it. Can you see where I'm holding it in my hand here? Oh yeah. It's got this red color. But it also has this grey wood colour. See what I mean? Oh, yeah. So what I'm thinking is, because a lot of the time what they do in Minecraft, or what they do in a lot of buildings, is they like the lower levels one down. And then the next layer up on the building is a little bit higher up. Okay. So we have something. <gasps> Brie and crackers. Brie and crackers. You've just sold your food to me. Oh, oh my god. my god. That's like the god. best food ever. Really? Brie and crackers. It's like, oh my god. Absolutely. Give me some too. <laughs> it's like the best. Can't believe people are talking about food in oh. chat now. Anyone think this is an Exuma chat stream? Like, Start talking about food. Like they know what I'm talking said about. Brie. Someone said brie. Oop. Now, what type of crackers? <laughs> this is important. What type of crackers? Yeah. Interesting question. So, what type of crackers do you like? Me? Yep. Um. You know you can get the mix pack. Yeah, I do like the 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 mix pack. They are pretty cool, yeah. I don't know. I quite like the flavor. I don't like... I'm not really a fan of the, like, flavoured ones. But we've got some, haven't we, at the moment? And some of them have got, like, this... Uh, you get like cheesy honey. taste to them. Cheesy. Cheese gourmet. Yeah, Exum's always talking about food. <laughs> Multigrain. Ooh. Like, the um, Ravita ones are nice. Those sort of crackers. True. Yeah, like True. Cool. So what I've gone with here so far, I mean, this still needs some serious tweaking at some point, is 
a roof that's wider than the wall below so it looks like it's got that little hobbit bit at the bottom and then a bigger chunky bit at the top i'm waving my hands around here no one can see that and no i'm not turning the camera on um <coughs> well, that was loud. oh sorry i feel like trying some steampunk houses now yeah we got to and then we're going to put this strip birch in here as our roof on the top, I guess. So we've got to decide what sort of roof looks better. Do we like the big, like, chunky, stripped dark oak? Or do we like the nicer... I suppose what we could do is I could change the theme a little bit. So these could be like the lower... Uh, lower quality houses yeah, for the uh, people with not so much money mm -hmm. and then this could the pristine houses could have other materials couldn't they at the very top so if we use some of this and we'll stick a roof on this then because um, we would probably have one there have it along the back here like this and we'll see what shape it is because that's the other thing is it's going to be very triangular then the roof if but you then, use this when you think of steampunk houses they're quite small aren't they yeah they're like little they are houses. but this is like a, a settled community that's okay. what i'm thinking of these people li have lived there long term that's why that's where I'm going with it, mm -hmm. and I think once you get these on here, it will narrow the roof up quite a bit. Uh, let's give this a go. Um, what did I do? Where's the middle? That's the middle one. Because I'm think I'm sort of thinking the dock area at the moment. They're just there temporary for now until I can turn them around. I haven't heard anyone talking much about your dog staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you giggling again? Is that what you're doing? You want my bubble gum over there? Yeah. Uh, it's really good, isn't it? It stops your throat from like. Mm. Starburst bubble gum. Oh, other 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 bubble gums are available, of course. Yes, I don't work for Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> I wish I. Worked. Starbucks. Yeah, I wish Starbucks. I worked for Starbucks. Well, no, I don't wish I worked for Starbucks. I see how hard they have to work. Yeah. Right. So it's not massive as a house. It's. <laughs> that's really triangular isn't it that's a bit weird <laughs> that 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 really does not does go it. does it no i think you made it a bit too big i think it needs to be bigger than length wise i, th I think, think it's got to be this stuff yeah i think i've got to go back to this oh my god okay, so oh really oh no what are these people doing it? to us you just said it <laughs> No. That's evil. <laughs> it's evil. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's evil. Um, right, so how do I normally do this? Uh, this is dark oak. Chicken. Oh, don't do that. Because <laughs> Mon PJC's put on too much weight this Christmas, hasn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you, you do know. You keep taking the mickey out of me. I was actually hoping I was going to actually go through Christmas and, like, not actually put any weight on. Yeah, but no one does that. You speak to anyone, they're like, unless, like, you don't have nice things like Christmas put in. Well, yeah. I guess. I think you're looking good. 
Are they talking food again in chat? Really? Like KFC burgers oh. with chips and a side. <laughs> God. Was it Colonel's Mill? <laughs> Colonel's Mill? <laughs> What's the Colonel's Mill? Colonel, uh, isn't that like you get a piece of chicken? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't, never have a Colonel's Mill. I don't meal. know. No, because we, we tend to stick to the... Wraps. <laughs> the wraps and stuff, don't we? Yeah. Why are we talking about food? I don't know. Who started this? I know. <laughs> KFC burgers, now you're talking. KFC, yeah, I like... It's their mayonnaise. It's like, what? Their mayonnaise? mayonnaise. What's wrong with their mayonnaise? Oh, it's like the best thick... Oh, I see what you mean. It's the best mayonnaise. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rudy Cat's like, it was me. <sighs> but it's a good topic. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. It's only because you're jealous. Because I'm hungry now. You're not. I just cooked you a meal. <laughs> what do I do? This? What does that look like? That's stupid. That's in the wrong place. Um, it's a reindeer. It's not a reindeer. <laughs> it looks like an alien. It looks like... Eh, 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 it looks like eh, a cockroach eh. upside down. <laughs> A cockroach upside down. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for your vote confidence there. My quality build work. Oh yeah, Tower of Zinger Burger. It doesn't look. This doesn't look like a Zinger Burger either. <laughs> Just saying. Zinger burgers are a bit hot. <laughs> they are. Yeah, you struggle with the hotness I of do. the Zinger Burger. I've don't been you? pretty good recently with hot stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're, it's because I eat it more now that you're having it and you're sort of getting used to it? Well, when you throw in the fajita pack, like the spices or... Yeah, the whole know, pack. when you had the Cajun pepper experience. <coughs> when you were covering the chicken and then the pot just fell out of your hand. It's like, oh, oops. It didn't really fall out of my hand. <laughs> it did, and then you're trying to scrape it off. It's like, meat. it's going to be hot. Oh, okay. <laughs> quite that bad make me sound really bad no um, I can just about feel my tongue <laughs> and then the tongue uh, my tongue fell my off my tongue's exploded because I don't exploded. know where my tongue is oh we have a good laugh don't oh, we yep. I normally the messy one as well when eating I normally make a mess don't I you? yeah yeah I might, I might change the way this be nice to Halo because you said nice things about her in the interview. I did. Oh, wow. Give me the Tower of Stinger Burger. Zinger Burger. Oh, Zinger Burger. Zinger Burger. Oh, see, we could sell Zinger bur uh, Stinger Burgers. Stinger Burger. Well, that's sort of the idea. is a bit it's like... a giant church bell. I know. It's a really weird shape now and I hate it. But I've just spent 20 just minutes spent, building it. We've been here like an hour. How long have we been here for? We've been an hour and wow. a half. But I'm trying to get some theme ideas going. I'm going to work on uh, work on some of this. Maybe you should like, draw stuff. I always find it a good way. Yeah, that, that's, like, that's true. Or like do a montage. Uh, so what was different I going to do? I was going to do... So I'm like just trying to expand the last idea from over here a bit. So we've got a bit more to work with. Did we like the dark one? Yeah. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but it's sort of trying to get an idea before you've got to go and get all the resources and the materials and that you've actually got to try and build this thing because it'd be just like crazy then. Especially if you decide, oh, that's the wood I want. You go and get like thousands of blocks of a colored wood and then you get there and you go, oh, no, don't like it. I need to put these in the back as well, don't I? Now it looks like NASA's rocket. NASA rocket? Yeah. I'm waiting for feedback in chat, seeing what they're thinking. McDonald's. Now, chicken nuggets. <laughs> chicken nugget. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with chicken nuggets? I love chicken nuggets. Should we have a like beam across it. there or something? And then one up the middle. Like a giant church bell. Ding! Yeah. 
our mock flurry. I think I might just leave that like that for now. Just as an idea. Just have fire coming out of it and look like the rocket from NASA. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Take out all the pigs. <laughs> right. So. Beep. Thing is, I can see this in my head and this looks nothing like it, which is annoying at the moment. But that's what it's all about. It's about having your first ideas down. Yeah, and it's just like trying to expand it. Yeah. See, I wanted a little bit of an edge and I wanted that raised edge because what the, the style I'm going that I would go for is I'm going to show you in my other world. Um, where's my original one? So you see how you've got this shape to the building? Oh yeah. That's quite tall. That's how they usually are like small and then they go big and then they go small again. Yeah, that's what I'm sort of going for. But a bit like the one that I was already building where it's a bit like this. Where I'd probably follow that shape. Yeah. It's a little bit, a bit more consistent. But the idea is, is that it's just the end of a building, and and stuff will go together a bit differently. And then this is stuff that I want to use as well. I mean, this stuff I designed years ago. So you've got these like bits that hang over the edge of the building. Mm -hmm. They can be like oh, walkways and you've got these towers and bridges and stuff, which I think would work quite well. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, and then you have things like this around in the world as well. So you have like your little statues and stuff. But that's what I'm sort of going for, but just this in a darker colour, mm -hmm. I think. But I do like the bottom better that we've done because this is cobble and brick. And I think it's too standard Minecraft. Mmm, Ikea. Good food there. I've never eaten in the my Apparently, uh, Ikea. Ikea is meant to be, um, it's their, is it their meatballs that are meant to be really good? Meatballs? Yeah. I know my brother goes, he's like, always has the meatballs. Yeah, he does. I have heard him talk about yeah. them. Yeah. So, as, Ikea. as you can see, that looks nothing like what I was just showing you. But... <laughs> It's changing this style down here to fit, and not it? And getting the pathway. The meatballs, yes. The meatballs. And then I want, like, arches between the buildings and stuff. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. I honestly thought that. You thought it looked like a nipple. <laughs> Thanks, Rady Cat. <laughs> I, I'm just glad... That's the child version. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you just spent an hour designing a nipple. <laughs> Only one PJC can do that. <laughs> it's I thought you were gonna start on something. It's not a nipple, okay? <laughs> let's 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 Oh my day I got I gave myself a stitch laughing. Oh, you got a stitch from laughing yeah, now. Yeah, I went to the gym oh. didn't I? I did core. I was like, ah. Oh. <sighs> oh my god, you people. Not really, me you tried... designed it. What? <laughs> well, it was, I, I'm not going to go into this conversation. Oh, I'm not going to go into this conversation because it might go completely the wrong way. Always does. Always does, yeah. Mm. I have to remember my audience could be 14 or above. Or under, or above. 14 or above. <laughs> Why am I even streaming? Yeah, 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 yep. That's my thoughts right now. <laughs> Great, thanks guys. This is epic. Um, next time, my logo designer. <laughs> yeah, you can build the house next time. Okay. Deal. I'll come back on air and then let you see what I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> There's always somebody in chat comes out with stuff like that. Um... <laughs> Why are you laughing still? What are they doing? Oh, Rady Cat's crying now, As apparently. part of your CV, can I ask you what you do out of hours? Oh yeah, what do I do out of hours? Yeah. I have you got any? Out of wood. Have you designed nipples out of wood? Okay, thanks. 
You got the job. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna have that oh. on my CV. Don't answer my question. Oh, sorry. Was there a question? question? Oh, what is the best, best food, food in, in England? England? Because, <laughs> please. Oh. Oh, best food. Oh, it's really debatable because we're like one of those countries that takes on everyone else's foods, yeah. aren't we? We're meant to be like the traditional roast dinner, aren't we? Is that a typical English roast dinner? Tony the like, Cole? Um, yeah. Then you've got like English breakfasts and stuff. Oh, full English. Full English breakfast. Uh, yeah. But then you've got to ask yourself, when was the last time you had a full English breakfast? I would if it wasn't for like the calories that's behind it. Yeah, but I mean it, <laughs> no, that's it, would. isn't it? I mean we we don't really eat. A full English breakfast. It's a treat. Yeah. Um, or as we call it, we're big boy breakfast. Big boy breakfast. <laughs> two of everything. <laughs> two, oh, two of everything, yeah. Yeah. Jason, um, he's like, in the army, he's like, you two of everything. He's like, I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right if you've got the stamina, the thing Easy. to, like, burn it off, haven't yeah. you? I'm not sure it won't be able to burn it off. Um... So these roux would sort of overlap or something. I don't know. Oh, I like a good curry. Yeah, you see, that's... <coughs> if you get a very good curry... They yeah. actually they actually said, didn't they, that the number one eaten meal that's eaten in the UK is a curry. Mm. You know, and it's not even an English meal. That's what you need. What? Big, like a gel frazzy, something really hot. Oh, to clear my cold out. Clear cold out. Yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? <laughs> Probably would, actually. Yeah. Not full English people. <laughs> no, I don't think a lot of people really are. No. I'm quite boring because I don't eat bacon, do I? <laughs> so no, well, it, Bacon or sausages. So you describe yourself just... as a complicated vegetarian. Awkward. Awkward vegetarian. Mm -hmm. um, which basically means... Um, <laughs> I'm awkward. <laughs> You're awkward. Um, what colours do you get here are different from the ones you get here. Now, I would love to get a decent curry from India. Oh, that I, would be I, amazing. Did I, t I told you about the story of the lady next door I used to live next to who mm. made curries. Oh, yeah. So there was an Indian family that lived next door to us, and we could smell their curries. And oh. it was like, oh, my God, that food smells amazing. And she actually said to us one day something like, Oh, I really hope I didn't like um, blast you out with the smell of the of the uh, curries I was making. No, or... I was just like really jealous. <laughs> I was just like, no, we we're really jealous. We like really like really like the smell of it. Yeah. It's fantastic and that. And she goes, oh, okay. Well, I'll actually make you a curry next time then, and, and bring you some round. And we're like, oh, okay, that'd be really nice. And didn't really think anything of it. They're samosas. And she brings round this curry and drops it off in this, like, big pan and goes, oh, I made you a curry sort of thing. Aww. I was like, oh, that's really nice. Thank you very much. And just like, I was like, didn't think much of it. So You didn't think much of it? I think quite a lot. No, of no, 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 no. I mean... <laughs> Cheers. Boy, we didn't expect it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Why can I, I not make this roof on that side? I'm going with a dumpy roof on that side. Dumpy. Um, a small nipple. It's not a small nipple. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. I'm never going to be able to build a roof again now, am I? The others don't look like it. <laughs> the others don't look like it. Thanks. Uh, full English. Uh, Ooh, when I'm going to London. to London this year, I'm going to eat a full English breakfast. Oh, okay. I love okay. London. Yeah, we, we love going. Quite a lot, yeah. yeah, we're going to London quite yeah. a bit, don't we? We love going there. Just exploring. I love doing the touristy thing. Yeah, we sort of explore London as if it's a, a tourist place, don't yeah, we? Because we, we don't live, really yeah. get... To, yeah, but we don't get to go there really very often, do we? That's the problem. How did I do that? I did it that way, I think. Oh, Rady Cat's going this weekend. This weekend? Oh, so where are you from, Rady Cat? I can't go to London a lot. I have to cross the sea. <laughs> it's a bit far. 
Well, yeah, there is just, there just there is that to it, and yeah. um, we're quite fortunate. We can just jump on the train and go. Well, yeah, there is that. Yeah. And it's what mm, up to an hour, yeah, isn't it? An hour away. Depending on how well the trains are going, True. we can get there in an hour, which is not too bad. No. Yeah. Yeah, we're going quite a bit. I'm probably going now more with you yeah. than I would have gone in by myself. But then we like go out oh, for okay. meals and things and stuff. Oh, okay. Wycombe. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think people know that um, I've said we're in sort of uh, Hertfordshire. Yep. Hertfordshire. Although I'm an, I'm an Essex boy, aren't I? Troublemaker. I'm a Hertfordshire lass. Hertfordshire lass. Hertfordshire lass. Right, see, that's, that's got a dumpy nipple. Why is it wonky one side? Wait, it's, yeah. What's wonky? No, you got a gap there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's a oh, bit weird. Now. Should have gone specs <laughs> Who saw that? I didn't see that. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know whether our lower roof would look better on the buildings or not. I don't know. Mm. Might do. And something like that. You can get more building in then, can't you? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Do you still remember our first talk? It goes about London. I think you were asking about places to go in London. Oh. We were talking about museums that we went to, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So we were t I was talking about the Cartoon Museum, which you really loved, didn't you? Oh, I like that. Um, do the London Eye. If you get the chance, do the London Eye. That'd be awesome. London Eye. There's the Toy Museum. Yeah, we did that. Um, the Bank Club. B&A, yeah. B &A. Uh, which is... Um, Victoria and Albert. <coughs> yeah, Victoria and Albert are previous king and queen, mm -hmm. isn't it? Not the previous one, but yeah. Queen Victoria. Um, there's the travel the transport one that we went to we've obviously got the the science museum the national history museum and they're all free aren't they archaeology the shard oh. oh you're british an archaeology museum. geek yeah british museum we yeah. love that don't we as well yeah yeah and the shard's one of our favorites as well isn't it yeah uh, right, if you can so, buy a cocktail, buy one. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're very expensive, but they're very expensive. They are a, a little expensive. That's one way of describing it. Yeah. That's good. Go to the top of the shard. That's cool. It's not when it's raining. <laughs> not when it's raining, which happens a lot in the there, UK. Don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I quite enjoyed going up yeah. there. Yeah. The bar up there is fantastic, isn't it? It's oh, yeah. really nice. Yeah. That's a fantastic place to go. They do really good deals as well. Right, so I'm getting a bit of an idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the shape of this roof a bit. Really? Thanks. <laughs> um, but I'm going to make it more like the one I've got in my other worlds, probably. I mean, it's not like stuff I'm going to start building straight away. I just wanted to get some ideas so we sort of can like build a story mm -hmm. of where it goes. Did a presentation about the shard. Mm. So probably knows how tall it is and all that sort of thing. Yeah. So I'm saying the Sky Garden, that's meant to be quite cool. Yeah, the Sky Garden's the other side of the river, isn't it? Yeah, and they wouldn't let me in when I was on a hen party. <laughs> what, you rowdy lot? Yeah, they wouldn't let us in. Well, yeah. We weren't that rowdy. <laughs> you weren't that rowdy? No. no, you were all fairly well behaved, weren't you? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Right, this is a bit of a, uh, can you tell what it is? One, two, three, four, five. I've got another little plan or something I'm just going to try out here. Have you seen um, Andy is Yoga? How many, do you guys in chat know who Andy is Yoga is? Yeah. So well, he's... Andy is not my yoga teacher. Andy is not my yoga teacher. Um... He's a really good, got a seven for it. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, 
I, I, I wouldn't get a seven. I don't know anything about it at all, really, other than it's big. Yep. <laughs> and made a lot of glass. And your ears pop when you go up in the lift. Yeah, that's rude. Yeah. I told you, didn't I? It takes us longer to get up one floor in our lift at work than it does to get to the top floor of the shard. Really? Yeah, because it's like one of those ones you put like big crates and things in. It's like crunk, mm -hmm. crunk. And it's like ying, 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 ying. And then about five minutes later, you get to the top. Why do you sound like a robot? Why do I sound like a robot? Probably am a robot. <laughs> Don't tell people. Um, where did I go with them bricks? What was I looking for? I did that with that stuff. Oh, okay. Got a slightly idea. Um, no, that's not what I was looking for. Right, so I've got cobble. Um, moss. Moss. So I'm thinking about the walls that hold back the the sea. Okay, yep. So I was thinking, because it's obviously going to be wet down there, we'll have like a bit of a wall like that and have the mossy stuff in there and then below the water surface you sort of have sort of a mossy wall so you've got to imagine this side is the water so the water level would be up to here mm -hmm. um, because you can actually Build this with. Um, I actually put some water in here. Should we make a tank? Oh. What's that? Sad. I need to do research, a real big research, because the hours out my class were into London. I can't yeah, remember. Oh. You oh, couldn't sad. go. Oh. Oh. Do you know what you're gonna uh, do? as a sort of a, 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 a topic yeah. in London. Oh, my mum promised I had to go this year. Oh, oh I see. Cool. Oh. That makes sense. London is very exciting. It's, it's the whole tubes, it's all... Oh, the underground oh. trains and... That's a mission, I think. Yeah. It can be, like, proper, like, scary, can't it, I guess, in a way, yeah. if you don't really know what you're used to doing yeah it's pretty good because it's such a tourist place everyone's like willing to help and yeah i mean you always get you always get weird people i mean i go there occasionally yep. <laughs> thanks um better than it? the netherlands hmm. that's uh, cool i might go in there that'd be cool yeah, I mean, it's like exploring different countries and finding out about them, isn't it? Yeah. Don't and I think like I like though. doing that. Minecon. Yeah, we want to do Minecon, don't Mine we? Minecon fest. Is anyone in chat going to go to Minecon? Me! Or thinking about it. Are we definitely going? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. I'll start, better start booking then, didn't I? Yeah, I've already got the whole subscribe to get tickets. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hello. We've got to dress up as, like, a creeper. What? No, I thought I was going as Mon PJC. No? Oh, I want to go... Um, I think I want to try out the Netherlands. That'd be cool. Try out the Netherlands. Yeah, see what's like. Yeah, I've never been there. I've only sort of really... No, I've not even driven through it. Because I've been to Germany a few times, haven't I? Where? Oh, don't start all that again. Germany? She, she, where is Germany? Because I haven't taken you to Germany. You keep doing the whole, where is Germany? I've heard of this place and I I don't know what it is. <laughs> You're like winding me up. I went to Bruges once. <laughs> Bruges? That, that was my excitement of my life. Right, so I made this little tank of water because you can see the wall under there where we've got the step. Yeah. It curves up like that and you'd have the wall underneath. And then I'm thinking you'd have some, a, a, like a, a little bit of moss but you wouldn't get as much um. going along after that. 
And then we can do something like stick the cobble in around the wall. Talk just playing with some ideas here. See what it looks like. And probably also put some steps in as well. So if you like. Because you're going to get like broken brickwork, aren't you? True. Like, like that. So you're going to get like little gaps in it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, I won't put them below the water surface. I would do when I'm doing it. And then we can just do something like that. We'll put that behind it and then it fills it in. And then you get these like little broken steps and stuff in there. Yep, Germany's next. So I know that, or I've seen at least, that the people in, Never in the Netherlands um, like going to Germany on holiday. Really? Yeah. next door, isn't it? So I've been on holiday, I'm trying to think, it's the Trier area of Germany. Okay. So it's where the Moselle River is. And the Moselle River is like the wine country or area. So. <laughs> There's like these massive like uh, rivers where mm. river thing goes through. I see. Um, so they're pretty cool there. Mm. And I've, a lot of uh, Dutch people go there or there's a, a lot of we see I've seen a lot of Dutch people when I've been there. So I'm thinking a wall a bit like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah? You could have one of those things, you know, like, um, what do you call it? Probably like a pier. I see a pier. Yeah. When you get, like, on the edge of the docks, you're going to get areas where... A bit like Brighton Pier. Yeah, where you've got stuff sticking out into the water and the boats can moor up, the different size boats. Yeah, she goes every year. Where did it go there? So it's, I think it's a place called Trier. Um, as I say, it's on the River Moselle. That's where I've been. And we sort of like stay at Lindau holiday camps because I took you to one, didn't I? You did. Uh, in this country, I care to add. In this country, <laughs> yeah. And they're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah, get hot tub. Yeah, hot tubs. So when did you go? There? When did I go? Yeah. Oh, it was years ago. Now oh, can't so think. Oh, was there two years ago? Um, no, I wasn't there two years ago, was I? I think it was about four or five years ago I went oh, there. Wow. I think so. Mm. What do you reckon to this so far? Then I don't know if I like them on the end there. That'd be Just cool if you have, out. like, what is it, the black iron thing on? The black iron? What do you call it? Ah, my blank. Ooh. What do you mean, your tools have? Ah, my blank. Oh, anvils. Yes, that's it. I'm thinking, because if it's, like, to do with docks, it's, like, as if they're going to come in and wrap their rope from the boat. Oh, on these ones? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Not with the gap. Why are you not dropping? Because it's to be... a half block. I know that, but I normally you can like get them to drop. Oh, when the boat comes in like... <laughs> and when someone throws you off a boat to go and grab the... <laughs> oh, it just breaks. Huh. I thought it might drop on it. Because like they, they have gravity. But it drops on it and breaks. Oh, okay, so you'd have to do it like that. That way round, or... Yeah, it would be that way round. Wouldn't wouldn't have it... The other way. That way round, would no, you? No, no. The other way. You'd have it that way round to yeah. wrap the big ropes round. So the bike comes in, throws the rope off, put it around the back, around there. Sort of. Yeah. Doo -doo. Cool. I think I made that one wider than those. You did. I probably would leave them wider. Would. Would. Ha ha ha. Would leave them wider. Yeah, very funny. Boop.
Ba-dum, psh, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> Because you wouldn't want you don't that on the docks you don't have a wall or anything, do you? No, you do not. You might do in some places, and we could just use like iron bars or something like that. That would probably be all right. It's true. Um, where's me? Where's me fence posts? I want some of them. Oh, because I wanted them as well. I didn't want to lose that. Because what we could do, I don't know how they'll look. Oh, actually, we want to make them out of. Um, want to make them out of acacia, because that way they'll they because this all looks like it's rusty then in a way, doesn't it? We could have like. Have like lamps. Lantern. Yeah, that's cool. because yeah, you wouldn't have them that close together, mm -hmm. because at night time it would be, uh, like just enough lighting, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, so you get something like that. Oh, that's really cool. So you get dark patches and light patches. Hang on, let's turn that bit off. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not so bad. So yeah, you get the whole ropes round there. Um, you need to go to Capoland because they are brilliant and really nice. And I went there eight years ago. Yeah, I've worked with Polish people and I really like them. I got on with them really well. But I've never actually been there. We talked about going there, didn't we? we did. For going to Outfits. That's so that looks pretty cool. I don't know about the back of this bit. I don't know whether to leave it like that or. I think that looks fine. Yeah, with these like grill things here, like that. Oh, there's a soap mine. Oh, cool. Is there? Yeah. Oh. Because the other thing I thought of was like doing that on the. Oh, I see. I put four in there. That's why it looks odd. Like that, because then they look like drains to let the water off. Three. I know the water would just flow off, but at least that way they look like mm -hmm. some sort of drainage system underneath. That is true. I think that looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah. For once, I'm actually pleased with what I've done. Where's the other one? Yeah, like that. And that actually should look like you can actually sort of like, there I go, look, see, look, you've got like a oh, yeah. a mossy hole that you can see down into. I mean, obviously you can open it, but you know, if that was blocked off, that would be quite good. Because cool. um, you would do something, I like a bit of hidden lighting mm. in the game, because I think that's a really good way of doing stuff. Um, so if we did something like this, now what lamp, if I just put a lantern in there for now, that doesn't really show, I mean you can see a light in there, I might put it back further, actually I know what to put in there, redstone. Oh um, yeah, good one. Redstone torches, are. I love putting redstone torches in, where's it gone? One PJC can't drive. Um, rude. <laughs> and I put them on the back wall like that because otherwise they stand in the middle and they're a bit too close. Actually, you could even do something like this as well. I'm just thinking. So if we come over there like that. So you get like the little red lights on the end, oh, yeah. you can sort of see. That's cool. And then, can't really see it on here actually. No. Can't see that at all. I think it's because the light from this is There's distracting it. Yeah, it's bats. Yeah. Oh. You fell into water. Um, have I got my moody lighting on? Let's have a look. Uh, video. Yeah, I've got it on moody as well. 
light from the lighters as well. Let's punch that out. Oh. No, you can't see it, can you? No. Is it because you've got the steps there? Could be. Move it in a bit further. It definitely creates some light because you can see that colour change there, couldn't you? Yeah. Get the trapdoor. Might just need to be a brighter light. Doesn't really glow, does it? No. Can you bring it forward? Well, what I could do, I could use a brighter light like the lantern. Because it's quite, it's at the back, you've got the step in there as well. Yeah, well, if you put it underneath, it's a bit obvious it's there. Right. So that's what I was trying to actually avoid was the the fact that it could be a really good way of lighting the dock up without having lights hanging over yeah because what it's actually doing is it's creating a light source underneath here that sort of is shining through yeah so it lights up that path area there, even without the lighting. That does look cool, because you get like the darkness of the wood. Oh, can you imagine what this is going to look like with the shaders on? That would be cool. See, this is why I'm waiting, everyone's waiting for, use a torch. Yeah, I could just use, use a normal torch under there. Um, the name is, oh my god. <laughs> You do, you do know when you put names like that in chat, we have no chance as English people to be able to pronounce that. So, I'm guessing the Wilenska? W... Uh, now, the W... If, if Dutch is like German, the W is pronounced as a V. Yeah, so it's v. Vilenska. Vilenska? Vilenska? Could be. Vilenska. My coffee's empty. Must be near the end of the string. Um, so that's it one way of doing two stuff. Two hours to drink your coffee. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't think that looks too bad, actually. I think that looked quite good as a dock. Yeah, that looks really cool. I really and like then it. I need like Dockland buildings and stuff on the side. Uh, and then we need to do things. Because I always like these. Um, another thing that I've seen people do is using. like stuff like that where you put like a gate and you go why are you putting a gate there and then you do that and it's attached yeah well it looks like it's it looks attached like it. yeah and it just adds a tiny little bit of detail yeah. to just change the effect of it a little bit and i think that looks quite good i don't know whether i'd have those or not but I'm, i might do because i've put them under Lots of people put them under roofs. If we've got a roof here, I can put one under. Might work. Because they'd sort of do a weird... Oh, these ones have lined themselves up. Nope. Yeah, they're sort of like... They oh, like okay. line up as like a chained bit of woodwork. That would be good in the same wood as that. And the same as that colour yeah. under there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite, yeah, that's very true. But yeah, it's just like creating a bit of a mood yeah. to it. And then what I'm seeing is that uh, those buildings, these buildings pushed back and random and different shapes and sizes and docks and materials on the, on the surface so that people have got um, what looks like a, because we've got the new, what is it? The barrel, isn't it? The barrels have actually got this really good, I really wish you could put barrel, oh, you can put barrels up that way. Oh! There you go. My phone, my keyboard's going nuts. What's going on in my chat? Oh, oh. Rady Cat has just gifted a sub. Oh, oh cool. that's really nice of you. Oh, well done. Oh, thank you for giving. Oh, thank you very much. That's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and I, I know um, 
um, our little bee buddy there is going to be massively excited about that. That's really cool. Thank you so much. That's excellent. So I've put some barrels on there then. See, they just add a little oh, bit I like of. That. That's cool. Yeah, just add a little bit to it, don't they? Um, and then you could also do something like, oh, like maybe they've brought in like a really rare texture of wood that you can't get from anywhere else. And you'll see where I'm going with this. They probably know what I'm doing in chat. So wood's a pain sometimes to actually place. <laughs> So you get something like this, and I'll block the light off. Um, and then you do something like you get railway track. And then what you do with your railway track is you position it like this. And it looks like it's being strapped down. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. Yep, yeah, we got sub hype. Sub hype. That means I've got two subscribers now. Woohoo! Really excited. That's us clapping our hands, by the way. <laughs> Everyone's wondering what we do. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. So we've got barrels, we've got different things. I'm really excited to make this dock now. Yeah, I want to give it a go. Well, we're going to have to get it on a server at some point, and then we can all do it, can't we? That would be cool. We can all get involved and make stuff. Oh, Rady Cat's got the little icon, the little gift oh. icon as well. Wow. I think that's really cool, well, isn't it? I have it? no idea what stuff is. <laughs> yeah, so you've got the first. That means I can't remember first how time. many. Let me move my mouse over here. So it's a founder. So it's what I think it's the first 50 people who subscribe get that. Wow. I'm not sure. And then that's the gift leader. Oh. The little gift icon leader. Um, and then these are just like hype badges and that. I've obviously got the B sub. Oh, there we go. See, so... Um, oh, cool. Oh. you got the bee now. Yeah, you got the bee there now. Yeah. I don't know why Rady Cat didn't get a bee. Why you got no bee? you got no bee. you got no bee. Uh, maybe you'll get the bee sub on the next one. But yeah. Yay, yep, you are bee a bee now. now. You're a one-month bee. Oh, cool. It looks really cool, doesn't it? I like yeah. really excited by them. I like the bee. Yeah? It's cool, isn't it? I'm just too sad. I'm overexcited. Why? That's not um, sad. That's cool. No, I like it. It's really nice. So it's like, I just want to be able to like, do more stuff for the people that are in chat. Yeah. You know, it's nice to sort of like... Oh, okay. Oh, you have to be the first. It replaces the B. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, get the first. I wondered about lighting underneath the water as well. Did somebody mention lighting under the water? Or was that me? Oh, um, no, can't do that. Not in the water. I've just flooded the hole. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, it's all right. There was nothing over there. And if it was, it's been washed away. Can you put lanterns underwater? Oh, you can, but they put an air block around them. Oh, that's silly, isn't it? <laughs> that's a silly game. Um, right, let's try doing something like that. Pickles! Oh, oh pickles! Yeah, of course. Why did I not think of pickles? Hold on, pickles. <laughs> hey! Yeah, because you can put just a couple, or you can put a lot down. Now that looks cool. Yeah? Yeah. So you just put them down in random places and it just creates a little bit of random lighting. Yeah, that's a perfect idea, putting sea pickles down there. I like that. That's a definite. Oh, we're definitely going to have to work on this now, isn't it? This is going to look good. Yeah. I'm excited for this now. See, then now you have to stream every day. Yep, so every Was day this week. <coughs> three to four times a week. But the idea is to stream every, try and stream every day. Yeah. I don't know what time's best. I mean, um, obviously, Rady Cat's in the UK, mm -hmm. and um, now 
I can never say your name properly. Antoinette. Antoinette. Antoinette, Antoinette Kitten. Um, but you did actually say to say your name differently in Discord. And what I oh. can't. So it's like. Is it ski or sky? <laughs> B stream. Love it. Yeah. Would be the B team. Be love. Not the A team, the B team. Oh, pickles don't live outside the water. Oh, that's sad. Um, I like pickles. Yeah. What if you could use sea pickles under there? No, but I mean, you could like waterlog the hole. Yeah, you could do. Just try that. That's another way of doing it. I'm just like, excuse me, Mr. Bat, get out of the way. Get out! Oh no! You made the bat angry now. Made a bee and a bat angry. Bee bat. A bee bat. A bee bat. Bee bat. Um, okay, so water. Oh, I've already got water. I could put a up. Shove water in hole. Put pickles. water in hole. Put pickles. Yay! In holes. There's always a plan B. Yay. That actually works. It does. And it's, it's not as it's not as bright as that one, is it? No. It's just that little bit it's dimmer. It's a bit like a dimmer light. <laughs> yeah. You can pick and choose. Right. <laughs> so how do you how do you say Antoinette's name? So is it Sky? S I K E. I'd say that's Sky. It's an L. S I L K E? Yeah, Psych? Silk. 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 Oh dear. She's, oh get, dear. she's now trying to work out how to put it in chat. I know. To I, explain I, I to always me. always have that fear in chat. It's like, I get people saying, and it, when we did the 24 hour stream, I was like, oh no. <laughs> just Wait, some of it, I just don't want to get them wrong. <laughs> well, it was also like with my name, I was expecting people to go, oh, um, no, coming up with, I oh, can't just say, can't say your name. Ooh. Is that a little better with three or just one? Probably just one. Just one. You know what it reminds me of? It looks like those boys that you get hanging over the side so they don't bump just into me. Just like silky. Ah. Silky. As in material. Yeah, like silky material. material. Like yeah. silk. Yeah. Like classy, silky, smooth. Classy, silky, smooth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can go with that. That's cool. That sounds good. Um, a lot of people just call you Mon. Yeah, a lot of people like, just call me Mon. They just don't, they don't worry with the PJC bit. No. Well, it's like Loza. We, we just call him Loz. Well, yeah, Loza that's true. Yeah. Um, what do they look like on there? Do they look any good? Oh, that's Endwall. Oh, blimey, that'd be expensive. Or Prisma. Prismarine definitely doesn't go, does it? I was trying to look at something that looked a bit like a buffer that would stop the mm. the boats mm. crashing into the side. But that one. That one there, Never stone there. brick wall. Okay. Never brick, that's quite a dark one. That's really red. You've got andesite, mm. which has got like a plain texture to it. Let's try these. Could work. Oh, that's a bit dark. Yeah, I might just leave them off. Yeah, I like the wooden I, ones. I, yeah, I, I like the wooden ones because it just adds that just that little bit of extra contrast to the colours. So we've definitely got a bit of a palette going on. <laughs> Normally you say on a otherwise but no other people from an other language can say my name. Only Dan. Oh, Dan, oh, Dan HG. Dan the man. Da is that Dan the man? Dan the man. Dan the man. Dan the man. Dan the man. Dan HG. Dan you should. I should now refer to you as Silky, and everyone will go be looking in chat and going, "I can't see anyone called Silky. <laughs> Who on earth is that?" <laughs> uh, five others in chat. Oh, okay. Cool. That's pretty good. Um, right, so I've done that. I'm really into building like a dock land now. <laughs> and the then building like the houses that go along it and everything around that area where I've been working. I think that wall's subtle enough, isn't it? I like it. I think it looks really good. 
The only thing I need to then probably work, I can use a similar style to come out and use. Um, I actually do like a little moats, so you know, you can get the little. What do they call it, moats to come out to your boat? What do you call it? There's a word. The piers. Yeah. Piers, like yeah. Like little half blocks all the way out. Yeah, so I was thinking something, doing something like this. Um, I can't do it when I'm flying. You're pointing at the screen and chat. Someone's <laughs> obviously said something. Uh, just hosted the stream. Oh, he just hosted the stream. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, you should build flooded boat, boat sheds. sheds. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. what? The um, where the water yeah, goes yeah. inside yeah. them, and you can like f take the boat in. Yeah. Oh, stream notes. Where's my stream notes? Um, I've got a little thing here. I'll put my notes in. Flooded boat houses. There we go. Because cool. I was, I forget these things, and I come to play the game later, and I go, "What was I going to build? I can't mm. remember." Um, yeah, but I was thinking like something like this. There's a bit of a like short piers. That would so come. You jump onto your boat. Yeah, and then we could use these. You normally do them like this, like that. And then if I like grab these, I've got like a little notch where you cool. can like step down. Oh, you can get that's down really cool. there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. I love it. Yeah, I think that's quite not bad, is it? Yeah. I mean, you could still go with the whole putting these on because everywhere that there's going to be... I don't know if they're a bit too much mm. on the ends of those mm. for docking. They look quite heavy, don't they? Yeah, they're quite Unless heavy. you put them down one like that. Yeah. That would work, wouldn't it? Because then you've got like a flat platform to walk along. Uh, be back, right? We need to shower, brush after. Yeah, okay, no worries. I don't think that looks too bad like that, does it? Yeah, that looks cool. And I don't think there's enough space to get a lamp underneath it. Unless I did it a slightly different way. Can you hang them from the corner? So it's like when they're coming in from the corners. What, like that? Mm. Well, what was I actually just thinking was if I take these because you can put put them on top like that if I take them ones off then it gives me the it's because it's redstone it's activating them gives you the space to run them this way get to that one to break it there we go that just makes it look a bit thicker as well yeah. and then you can get that little bit of like lighting or glow underneath the underneath it so if it's quite long it'll just add a little bit of a glow underneath it oh, that's really cool so I don't think that's too bad I've yeah, they'd just be short ones, and then we could make big wooden ones for the big ships. So you'd have this, like, maybe twice that length as mm -hmm. a little dock. Um, and then, like, have a really big one, because you'd, like, want a big concrete pier going out. And, uh, like, a wall break as well. Because you want to like stop the the sea and the waves coming in where the ships are docking, don't you? Mm -hmm. I never realised that's why they had those big walls out there. Yeah. Stop the waves coming in because the boats would be bite bobbing up and down when they're trying to dock. Mm -hmm. Very clever idea. I never mm -hmm. thought of that. Thank you. So I like that. Um, how deep would you probably? 
you want like your dock to be like pretty it needs to go back a reasonable distance doesn't it you know what I mean yeah and we could I'm just putting cobble in for now but we could use um, break the stone up with steps and slabs and stuff like that so there's like spaces in it and things yeah the trapdoors and stuff yeah it could actually yeah i think actually the trapdoor lighting is really cool unless you're on like that sort of platform that'd be really cool yeah because you could go somewhere like that and you could sort of like go oh, i'm gonna punch a hole there and i'll punch another one maybe there for now Just need to be able to. Could we put water under it, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Like that. It sort of almost makes sense sort of use something like the sea pickles doesn't it yeah because it's like yeah. you're you're it next to the sea and stuff like that so you've got this much deeper dock now mm -hmm. it's got that foreboding like strong look to it now isn't it mm -hmm. um and then how are you doing time wise as well halo because i do know that obviously you've got to go to work tomorrow <laughs> yeah I don't like. I have to go in a bit. I don't need to like suffer. Mm. I might. I know not. Every, I might give it until like two and a half hours on the string. Give it another 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. I've just got a little bit of an idea here. I want to like throw in. It does look like a real dog. That's also really cool. Um, I'm loving the boathouse idea. Yeah, the boathouse is a really cool idea, isn't it? That'd be good. Right, let's punch some doors in. I'm probably going to put these in the wrong place. So I need to count them out. Um, I might use this again. Because it's like a really nice wood. For this area now. One, two, three. And because I'm thinking... You'd build like quite uniform buildings in an area like this. The people that like work at the docks or have got buildings and stuff or houses on yeah. the edge of the docks. Yeah. Um, and then we could like, uh, might make them a bit wider than this, but might like punch out some windows there or something like that. Uh, and then what have we got? Because we've got workstations, haven't we? So what work, sort of workstations have we got? Um, we've got things like... Oh, wow. What is that you've just shown me on your phone? Costa's new January menu is here and it features a pink hot chocolate. A pink hot chocolate? Pink hot chocolate. Wow, that's and scary. It has vegan options. What's the iron worker? Is it an iron? What's the guy who wears like. Because uh, Rady Cats just said uh, cartographer. I've got that one. I'm trying to think of the other one. Is it armor? Mm the armorer or something like that oh why have they come up with names of blocks that I can't remember the names of are they down the bottom um, dee, dee, dee. blast furnace yeah <coughs> actually the blast furnace has got a really cool look because you see where we've got these grills where like the water can flow out? Oh yeah, yeah. Could you do something like that? Would that look like a drain? Yeah, that looks cool. 
Glass furnace, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see what um, Rady Cat thinks. If that looks like it could be like a drain where the water like comes out. Yeah. I suppose it could. I mean, I could always just put one of these in that gap. Oh, oh that's difficult. You've got to do it. Uh, eh, uh, got to get in there. Put, oh, no, that one. Like that. Like that. Like that. Put it in there like that. See, that's the other way of doing it. Yeah, the blast furnace looks better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a weaving thing. The loom. That's it. Um, so there's like the cartographer's table and I'm just like trying to think of some things to like put down. Actually, that's a good one actually, the cartographer's table because he's got like the whole map and everything. Um, we've got looms. Now looms are really good for like a building block as well. Because you can do, they've got like this texture to them. I think it's the back. Is it the back of them? Yeah, they've got this, looks like an empty um, shelves. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can put like them in there. It's like another shape block then. Things. Um, and then what I was thinking of doing, let's see what you think of this. Stairs, 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 stairs. Now we've been doing, got jungle stairs. Where's my acacia stairs? There's my acacia stairs. What I'm thinking of is, Might be a bit too much red, so I might have to go with something completely different colour. Yeah, but I'll see what you think. I don't know whether to put that across there like that or use string. Uh, sometimes string works quite well. String? Yeah, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, I should really have them on this side as well. So you have like this whole little fence array going on on the top here. Mm -hmm. And then we could have something like carpet. Should we go with the whole bee carpet colours? Bee. It's a bit heavy, that, isn't it? Yeah. I like the... this Yeah, like a pergola. Yeah, these might be better. I lose all the bits of carpet now. I assume you can still put carpet on these. Oops. Getting your angle right. be a bit fiddly to make. So you've got, doesn't really show from there, but from out there you've got like, as, you, as uh, Ready Cat says, like a little pagola, like an area where people buy stuff. Yep. I don't know if it's too wide or whether it'd be better if it was like shorter. Um, because if you went with <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Um, then their building could look like like this you see a wall back there and then it's got like a canopy okay yeah, yeah that's cool Does that makes sense yeah because you could do like a bit of a bigger one so that's like main trading so you come in with your boat 
and then get off and then do your trading and then you can have like little sub trading little stuff. yeah and that's the idea these guys like sell things or their wares or they yeah. collect materials and stuff and just to do different things mm -hmm. uh, I mean this one is like uh, all like bee related so we could have like um, an empty beehive um, we could have like blocks of honey and if I grab some of those and an item frame as well then we can like put an item frame on there and we could put like a B on the front there like that. And they could have like a uh, beehive down there. Make it lighter. Uh, what, as in the colour or yeah, more lighting? Brady Cat can't see it. The monitor isn't like in the moodiness. Oh, okay. Make it yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, go for it. I forget about that sort of thing. There we go. Hopefully that looks a bit better on stream. Yeah, because yeah, the comp back. the compression sort of uh, kills the colours when it's being sent out. Um, and then oh yeah, where's the item frame? I was going to put an item frame on there, and you can do something like pop bottle like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Can you have her hanging up here? Um, what the item yeah. frames? Yeah, it's the problem with the item frames is they like stick oh, off right. the wall. <laughs> I like fact. I mean, I was ignoring the fact that this is hanging off there as well. But you can do that sort of thing, and that yeah. actually makes it look less intrusive because okay. it's quite in your face yeah. along right. there. And I'd put them on the back as well, or I might do. There's um, a thing where you can do it with string. Have you ever wondered why on earth we actually bother collecting any string other than making bows and arrows? It's actually for doing this. Because it's a trip wire. Right. Now you can obviously see it a little bit. Yeah. But it means that you can put it over the top like that oh you can't see it oh okay and that's you can't cool. see it when it's like that oh that's a cool idea and you've got like this little edge i mean i could even put string on the front there it's only noticeable when you get really close and you highlight it with the it's quite cool because actually when you see the bees zooming about they have the little white dots after them anyway <laughs> yeah it looks really yep. cool um the bee yeah they've gone in there um, so if I take something like this and we could do something like if I just change that one for that and we just stick a flower in it something like that one bits of junk land around everywhere <laughs> and oh no we don't want those we want like a dark trap door don't we I never know which is looks better, whether to use the spruce or the oak one. So let's have a look. Because it's got to look a bit like a flower pot. Oh, okay. You've got that, or you can do something like that. I quite like the dark one. Oh, Antoinette is back. Oh look. Hey. Look, we Been have a we have we have a bee shop. Been busy. <laughs> and I have oh, a no. challenge for both of you, Mon PJC and Halo. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. Bee. Blimey, those bees look huge, don't they? They are. They're they are scary huge. size. <laughs> look massive, don't they? Oh, he's, don't like he's stuck. Look, I'm going to give him a nudge. Wait for it. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> <coughs> so we now have massive bees on our dock. Huge bees. Yeah? Yay! So you can do this with all different colours. We could do zigzags. Um, 
you know, you could just bring that little bit of life into the area. And you can also do things like, I mean, this is a loom. I mean, if you put something like that there, and if I take something like a, a lead, Uh, and then if I grab that and if I stick him there nope that's a polar bear <laughs> why are you polar bear <laughs> oh no the challenge oh dear try to say oh dear <laughs> how do you spell llama L-A L -L -A. Oh, there we go. L -L -L That'll do. So we'll, we'll take one of these annoying oh, ones. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, Hogarhet. It means, how are you in English? Hogarhet is Dutch. Hogarhet. Do you do it with an accent? Hogarhet. I have no idea. Oh. Hogahet. 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 I think I say a bit posh. Hold on. A bit posh? Yeah, Hogahet. 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 <laughs> how, how is she like laughing her head off? Hogahet. <laughs> Hogahet. You'll, you'll have to like... Almost right. Almost Yay! right. Hogahet. But like over two seconds uh, today. <laughs> how are you in English? Oh, I'm so gonna I'm going to... Oh go no, we're going to have to tomorrow. learn these words to say. Hogahead. I'm going to walk into work tomorrow and be like, Hogahead. Right, let's see if... Let's, <laughs> let's, like, what? let's see if you know this one. Because um, the only Polish word I know is Dobshare. I don't know if she knows the word Dobshare. But... We said G and A, otherwise... We said G... G... Oh, G... Is it a... G... G or G... G or G. G. Use Google Translate. Go on then. Do it on your phone. No. <laughs> I'll do it on mine. Tip, use Google Translate. <laughs> That's what she just said. That's why I said it. Oh, right. I thought you said it. I was like, oh, no. No. Right. Uh, hey, Siri. <laughs> oh, no. Google. Uh, translate. Translate. There we go. Right. I'll turn the volume up. So, right. Enter. Tra detect language. No, I want to put. What do I want to do? It's Dutch. I just want it to say it, don't I? Um, Enter the text. Enter the text. There you go. Um, where is it? Right. H O E G W E T. A A. No. Oh, A A. A A, not E. A A T. Um, H E T. How are you? Say it. How are you? Right. Okay. Ready? Let's see. Ready? Right. That's it. You are Right, I'll hold it up to the microphone wait, wait, wait. a bit more. Ooh, it. Ooh, did that? Did that sound? It's a throaty G. Yeah. Ooh, gah, oh, You'll be all right. You got a like. Ooh, gah, het. Ooh, Ooh, gah, het. Ooh, 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 ha. Ha. Ooh, ha. Ooh, ha. It's the back of the freight thing. Ooh, Ooh, ha. Ooh, ha. Get. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. Hoo I'm going to be like practicing this now. She's probably wetting herself now. <laughs> she's, it's too she's crazy. Too in crazy English people trying to speak. How you making out late? Oh, because ah. you're. Yeah, go on. Say that again on stream. How you making out late? Lean in and no. say it. How you ganning? How you ganning? How you ganning? This is so funny, apparently. How you making out late? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't die. Please don't die. I don't know how oh. to end your stream. <laughs> oh no, the stream forever. <laughs> stream Because you can't close my stream. Yeah. I oh, have that'd that be funny. when I'm on Twitch. <laughs> That's why I don't Twitch and don't stream on my own. Oh, I see. <laughs> right, I think our oh. little doc is definitely coming to life here. Need a name for it. Um. Do we need any other, like torches or lights under there the b3 trading because these have got these guys have got lights haven't they you need a billboard 
Uh, yeah, that's true. Mm. And now have a random polar bear wandering around underneath. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it's not bizarre looking at all, this, no, is it? Got some no. Some punk polar bears, pigs, bees. We need a name for it. Bee, bee free trading center. Trading dock. It's not. It's not too bad. Look, you got the bit of light coming through from yeah. in there as well. That is really cool. Three tries. I'm going to learn some Dutch words. Deal. Um, another word. If you both said it wrong in three tries, I'm going to learn some Dutch word. Dutch words. Oh, right. Ah, okay. Uh, I got it. I won't be able to remember this. I'll stream tomorrow and I'll be going, what was that what? thing I said? Hogahet. 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 Something like that. That's what I'm going to be saying now in stream anyway. Hogahet. Hogahet. There you go. What do you think of the little shop then? That's cool. I like it. Yeah? yeah. It's not too bad, really is it? Things. It looks really cool as well. Cool. Right. My throat is completely dried up now. Oh. Um, I don't know about you. I need at least eight hours sleep. <laughs> you need at least eight hours sleep. And my alarm goes off at half time. And I need to not snore <laughs> and keep you awake with my sore throat. Oh, you can just keep building. Yeah, I could just keep building stuff. <laughs> Ho gut get het. Ho what? Hoga het. Do you guys say it like Hoga Hoga Het? Hoga Het. Hoga Het. Hoga Het. Hoga Het. That's just scary. That's like, oh! There's the sky. There's the sky. There's the moon. But the, but other, the other word, word is, is. Oh my god. It's like charades, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. And I, you know, people give Exuma a hard time for trying to say some of people's names in chat. And here we are trying to speak Dutch. I not stand a chance. Well, wait to see what she's got, and then I'm going to have to end the stream because. Uh, Apples and pears. I'm getting tired and my throat is dying. We should do some London rhyming Cockney slang. What? Apples and pears? Oh! Apples and pears, apples and pears chairs, yeah. stairs. Stairs. Can't think of any other. Hoga. 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 From my understanding, O E in Dutch is like O O. So Ooh. Hook. So. Are the same. Ah, okay. A hook. Hook. Oh. Yeah. I have no idea. No idea. I'm gonna have to try. So. I, I can do this. Is, Actually, I do know. No, I do know a little bit of Dutch. Go for it. Right? Are you ready? Because when I've been to Germany. Um, that place you don't know about. Okay, yeah. And <laughs> it's where lots of Dutch people go and they have Dutch TV. And I listen to lots of the adverts and all their websites end Punt no Puntanel. 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 Let's see if she's got that. Puntanel. It's dot NL. As we have dot co dot UK. Okay. They have Puntanel. So you watch the whole of Dutch TV and just yeah, I was watching Dutch TV. <laughs> they had English subtitles on, and we're trying to understand, or we're trying to watch Ooh. stuff and trying to work out what they're doing. I see. It's really good fun. The funniest thing I've ever seen, though, is a lot. A lot of you, probably the guys in chat, probably won't know of this. Is the TV program? Um, what was it called? Where the um, in, when the English people are in France. Don't know. Um, no idea. Oh, punt. Punt. Oh, punt and L. Is that how you say it? Punt and L. Punt and L. Is it punt and L, not point and L? Punt and L. Oh, what was it called? That that English program that took the Mickey out of the French Revolution and. No idea. The, everyone in the programme was English, but putting on the accents. What? Hello, hello? Hello, hello. That's it. Hello, hello. Uh, so the funniest thing, Puntinelle. There we go. See? I will only say this once. I shall only say this, this once. once. And 
I went to oh, France with my nan. I went to France with my nan, Clean and a. we stopped at a motel. Okay. And in there, they were had on TV uh, a low, a low. Oh. But the it was dubbed in French with English subtitles. Oh no. <laughs> And the French were wetting themselves watching this program. I don't know whether they just found it really funny because of what the whole context of what was going on, yeah. or whether they just found it really bizarre that we'd actually produced a TV program oh. like it. That is a hilarious. If you get chance to watch it, hello, 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 yeah. hello, 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 hello. The policeman's the best. Yeah. Yes, because he can't speak any French and he says all the wrong words, doesn't mm-hmm. he? He's really funny. Right, and uh, let's park myself on my dock. There Yay. we go. Cool. My little dock. Oh, look at that. I can, like, juggle. Okay. Right. I am going to end the stream here, guys, because my throat is dying. And if you <laughs> want me to stream every day, I need to be able to talk. So um, I'm heading off do now. Short streams. <laughs> I do short streams. I don't know what time I'm going to stream. I might do one during the day. I don't know whether people are at home or they're working second. and stuff like that. Yeah, but I want to make sure I'm streaming when people are about. I'll or whether to, just do them in the evenings. I'll be able to watch. I just can't listen. Oh, no, I've got my headphones at work, haven't I? Yeah, you got your headphones at work. Exactly. So thanks very much, guys, for popping in. Thank you. And I'm really excited now that we now have two official... Two. A subs on Yay. the channel so that's fantastic and oh. uh, we now have no a little buzzing. dock in place as well yeah I don't want to break the wood here do I exactly. um, you're Yay. you're not working tomorrow right so I might do a bit of a stream tomorrow I've got some other things I need to get I'm done as well day. you're on half day Yay. where's Rady Cat uh, Rady Cat is out there somewhere thank you for gifting the sub for our little silky beagle uh, Bee buddy, silky, silky bee, bee buddy. buddy. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Silky, silky bee, bee bee buddy. S B B. S B. I can't. S B B and B B B. Apparently, I can't walk backwards. Just don't. Very... Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? It's, it's gonna go. You're gonna bad. go. It's gonna go. What doing? It's gonna. Oh no. No. Why can't I go? Oh, there we go. Uh, it's because I'm on the edge. Uh, uh, so there we go. B online after four. Uh, oh, oh, B, B online. Ah, oh, very good. Uh, 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 oh. oh my god. What happened there? Uh, I'm, let, I'm trying face. back, back, reverse, beep, beep, beep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's cool. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Oh. I was trying to you do that. I was trying to do Yay. that. Oh no! Nope. I was trying to do that all professionally. Look, you look like a like you work there with your bee suit and. Yeah, would you? Your yeah, bee like, would you like? A, would you like a lantern? Lantern. I have On a lantern. The side. That'd be good. Uh, bee pee. No, I can't. But. <laughs> oh, there's my lantern. Right in front of your face. <laughs> That's a cool screenshot of your face. Of my face. Yeah. Like that one. That's cool. Oh okay. Beep beep. 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 <laughs> Why have we got a polar bear's bum? Hey. Okay. I think this stream's gone too far now. That's a bit. I, th- I, th- I think we need to go now. Right. Thank you very much and uh, for visiting my polar bear um, themed honey <laughs> shop. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.